Well, pretty much the left. <laughs> you must be born again. That's the first time I talked to her. She, she was really nice, though. She had seemed to have tears in her eyes there for a minute. I tell you, you've got to be born again. Amen. The Bible says without your spirit, mm -hmm. we're none of his. Right. How do we get the spirit? By seeking for it. Jesus said, when we seek him with all of our, he said, I'll be found with him. It's saying, preaching, and singing, and praying, and seeking God with our heart. We can say anything with our lips. When we talk, we say a lot with our lips. But we have to do it from the heart. Mm -hmm. it, God says he is the power of God unto salvation. Without God, there is no salvation. Hallelujah. God went to Calvary. He went just for one person. And he went there for me. Glory to God. The Bible says the gift and the calling of God is without repentance. When God has called you to do something, if you don't stay in that call, you're not going to be able. He said it's without repentance. I've heard people say in the past, well, if I don't know I'm called, I won't be lost. If I don't read that Bible, if I don't know it, I won't be responsible. Whether you read it or don't read it, if that call of God is upon you, there's no repentance. You can't get away from believe the blood of Jesus. You may think you're getting by, but that gift and calling to be there as long as you live. It's time we begin to preach and pray and be a prophet as if God has called us to be a prophet. Then stand and be a prophet. God is wanting to raise up the church in his likeness, in his image, with the same power he had when he was here on this earth. God's power is still the same. He said, I'm the same yesterday and today and forever. Just as he was then, he still is today. He said, heaven and earth shall pass away. 